Hi, my name is Coco with BlackFilm.com, and I'm here with Isis King and Todd Grinnell, stars of the Amazon original With Love. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you, Coco. I love Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Great to meet you guys. You guys are, are really, I loved all of the storylines, really, but I, I really, really enjoyed your storyline um, with respect to uh, just the sort of the busyness and this, the finding love and finding different things. What I wanted to talk about uh, that was so important to me, and Isis, you can speak to this, was that, you know, everything isn't sort of a one size fit all. We just assume that every queer person is supposed to get along and everybody's a monolith. But this script just said, hey, it ain't, it don't go down like that. What exactly. do you think about that? <laughs> It was refreshing because I feel like we we hit on personality and nuances that I've never personally seen, especially for someone queer and even me with my friends, you know, and the, the way we bantered or with my family or with my, I just feel like there were just moments there that I've never seen that I feel like I have. So to read them in the script, to see them there, I was like, oh, wow, you can tell they were, there was diversity in the writer's room but also to bring it to life and to do it with this amazing cast and this energy on set, it was refreshing. So watching it, I was like, wow, like Gloria really bottled up things that I've always wanted to see, but, and I've never seen. Mm -hmm. She did a great job with that. And I actually was, was making sure that I, I mentioned that to her. Todd, what, what's your perspective on that? This, the way that this, this show portrays the relationship between Miles and Soul is, uh, is the first time that's ever happened on television. It's long overdue. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's I'm so honored that we get to be a part of this story to, to destigmatize, um, you know, the way that people have have viewed uh, all relationships, actually, mm -hmm. uh, forever. And just honor the fact that we're, you know, this is about two people falling in love. Mm -hmm. That's it. And, Nothing and that's else it. matters. And yep. finding happiness. That's all that and matters. That's all that needs to anyone to, to be concerned with there, there's so much attention in the script to making sure that people are heard i mean even in terms of pronouns i mean mm -hmm. you just don't see that on television so i mean there was just every step of the way i mean everything that i watched i was just so touched by the attention and i just like you said you could Dang just it. tell there was diversity in the writer's yeah. room and it yeah. just you have to be able to people have to write you know for the character you just can't hire anybody to do the writing exactly like I said, to see me and my friends having our conversation and some of the little nuances there, I was like, wow, you can just feel it. I'm like, wow, I've never seen this. And this is my conversation with my friends like earlier that day, you know, mm -hmm. it was just refreshing. And, and it's simple things that just shows everyday life that we don't see. Like a trans person, I'm a, I'm a normal person, you know, right. so I deserve to have a career and family support and love and friendships just like everyone else. Yes, a coming out story is cool, but what happens after the coming out story? We're always right. so stuck there. So what happens? And, and this is kind of what happens after that when the person is accepted and we're just living our life. And that's what's so important about the script. And that's what I wanted to point out is that it didn't center uh, itself around just trying to make a sort of a big deal in that sense. Like you said, it's just like, hey, listen, you know, uh, they're trans and and it's fine and you know they like this kind of food just like we I mean like what are you, you know some of the silly things that people don't take into into perspective it's like there's no everything's not some sort of crazy story everyone's living their lives so I really appreciate that and I want to take the time guys just to to thank you so much for highlighting these characters and and for just being so powerful in the roles I mean you both play them in a way that maybe you know other people wouldn't have been able to play them and you were just you just honored the roles in such a terrific way and this is very wow. important television very important thank you time. thank I, you I, so much and thank you for you getting are, those pronouns right I think you're the first person to yeah oh my goodness no I mean it's important like I said as I was watching the show I understood it, it made more sense to me and I just really understood why it's important and I just want to thank you Everyone, you must watch with love. This is for everyone. It, it's not about race. It's not about necessarily queer. It's 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 for everyone, and everyone can take something love from it, everyone. and you can learn something from it. And it's 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 with love, and it's on Amazon. It's an Amazon original. It's uh, coming yeah. out December seventeenth. I'm talking to Isis King and Todd Grinnell. My name is Coke with Blackfilm Thank, Thank you, Coco. If you want to see more content like this on Blackfilm .com, make sure you like subscribe and ring that bell.